wandering around and the, the plan today is not to have a plan. I'm just basically walking and talking and seeing how many interesting people I can find to add into today's video. Yes. You saw me on YouTube and now you get to see me in real life. Where are we? What are you guys doing? You getting coconuts? But this is not ready. Huh? It's not ready. Yes, it's ready for me. Oh, it's ready for you. Uh-huh. One. Oh. Oh, fuck that way. What? Yeah. And one is fucked up, man. Oh. 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 Well, it's on tough. Oh, you got one that didn't break. <laughs> A lot of hard work. All right, gentlemen. Yes. So I haven't a clue where I'm going at all. Just walking and talking. So I haven't a clue which way I'm going or anything at all. I don't even know where I am. If you guys enjoy these type of videos or any of my videos, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 100,000 and I want to get that little plaque for my wall. So if you guys all hit that button, I'll get it a lot sooner. And I do appreciate you guys and the support I've been getting here in Belize. So doesn't go unnoticed. It's appreciated. Antonio, where were you born? Right here. Right here. Belize City. Yeah, right here in the city. So I approached him, I saw him uh, with a book, and I can tell this is a man with a lot of wisdom. We don't have to come any, no kind of um, bad mind against nobody. Yeah. We don't have to fight. We not the first. We just to get together like how we now talk together. Yes. Every morning, hi brother, hi sister. Communicate. Come like sure, but moment quarrel, quarrel. The rest of them I don't want to hear none at all because no matter nothing. Nothing negative. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just live every day, just share and bless, right? This is the Holy Bible. The peace and love. Right. Commandment. Pray, peace, love, kings of king, Lord of Lord. Would beliefs be a Blogger, huh? I'm the vlogger, yeah. I appreciate that. Now this is what we're, we're working on. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm honored. Thank you so much. Saying the younger people, their priorities are not on religion. Yeah, yeah. Then just yeah. mostly gun. But if they don't tell them religion, they want to hear about God. They just want to say, oh, I'm going to kill someone. I'm going to kill someone. They're like, hate, right? They don't, yeah. show, they don't show no kind of love at all. They don't show hate. So people are there, <laughs> you just can't. So here, as, as an elder, somebody that's lived here your whole life, what can the community do to, to make it a safer place so the guns get put down? Any advice? Man, well, it, it gotta be, yeah, yeah, be a hard road, brother. Yeah, be a hard because these youth nowadays, like, they don't want taking nothing. We're not telling, we don't have a meeting about them, we don't have telling, hey, make you get together, make you put away the guns. They yep. said they're going in. But after all, we don't do. They're coming back from the same situation. So you have to be somebody who really, really have to say somebody where you can communicate to them. You know, like no kind of trouble like how we do it. We know so we know back no gun, we back guard no heart. Because nowadays they youth no one here about that, you know. They don't want they just want here for guns. That's what they believe. In. So yeah. if that of where we need to, that's what the book says. It's available by the ballot, by the gun, or by the Bible. 
They want it by the gun. They want it by the ballot. Well, go ahead. No. Okay. But well, you know what happens? Jail or death? Uh -huh. There's no other option. Ah, uh -huh. that's it right there. So that's where they want to live. They, they, know, they, know, they don't give up on the freedom. They're like, oh, take that back line. They stop. Bow! Smash by the gun. Yeah. They, they don't give a damn. They kill because they don't know for their life. They went to heaven, going to the hell of the fire, right? So yeah. they don't mind somebody that's going to get it at any time. So they don't know what they're in time. So they want to kill, kill, kill. First and foremost, good morning. Hey, good morning. I haven't Chris. seen you in a while. Cool, cool. Got, you said we have two Jamaican friends here. Yeah, my friends from Jamaica. That are not just from Jamaica. They came here to make a difference. Charity work with Volunteer. Girls. That's How right. incredible is that? Hey. You attract that kind of positivity. You think so? I know so. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. So I'm going to see, make, make a difference. Tell me quickly, why are you here in Belize? Because we want to help out with the charity work. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you want to do that? Because I don't like to see the poor suffering. Yeah. Yeah, so I come to Uncle Albert to have, give a helping hand. It's incredible. It's incredible. And once again, amazing to meet people like you. What about yourself? Same. We Same. To help with the charity. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Most of the people I know, when they take a vacation, it's for a beach in the sun. <laughs> yeah. These fine people... Uh, are, are not here just for the beach, they're here to help people, which is incredible. Hopefully you guys are all doing your part uh, to help somebody. So this morning we're on TV. I guess I'll find out more as, uh, as we get close. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Don't worry, when I leave, everyone, when they see you in the street, they're gonna say, officer. Oh, what a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. Feels good to be alive, no? Yes. Good morning. Yes, good morning. The land of opportunity, I like this. No, tell me something, Chris. Um, I, I, I've been following what you've been doing in Belize. You have a lot of followers on your YouTube channel. You go all over the world. And for some reason, which is good, you usually pick the, the places where aren't highlighted mm -hmm. in, in tour books and tour guides and stuff like that. First question. You aren't a little bit nervous sometimes going in these neighborhoods, you know, by yourself and just being, you know, Christmas? Yeah, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I think I was I was born without the the trait of fear, so no, I've never yeah. I've never been afraid at all. No. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're missing something here because yeah. if a person has never seen one of your videos, uh, what's what's your niche? So I'm a traveler. Uh -huh. uh, my goal is to see every country in the world. And I go to the countries that are like less traveled to. Uh -huh. Like, for example, I had dinner with the Taliban two months ago in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. um, really? My, my well, so niche you're, is... You, you lean on the dangerous side. I, I, like, would say? It's calculated danger, I guess. Okay. But, yeah, uh -huh. maybe, right. maybe some would say that, yes. All right, all right. Don't pass the Taliban. Don't pass the Taliban. Yeah. No, wait. When you are sitting, knowing the history of the Taliban and the West, going to a place like that where you know that our laws don't really count. Apply, right. Our um, mm -hmm. thought process aren't really followed. You don't get nervous that you might say something or they might say you, they might take something you say wrong and say, you know what, Chris, watch your man. We don't yeah. believe in a Christmas, but we are saying we believe it. <laughs> you haven't thought about that? No, but you know what? I, like, I'm, I'm under the true belief that human beings, no matter the race or the, the location, they're all good people, right? Yeah. So, um, no, I've never had a problem, and no, it's of no concern at all to me. Really? That's, that's really cool, bro. Um, because you could tell that you're a people person. Um, I noticed that uh, what's your, you, you almost learn how to understand Creole, yeah. Because I, I noticed from your video, you're, you're, you're keeping track of what everybody's saying. Right. That's very, very good. Yeah. How much of the shrimp you may get when you may buy the forty dollars worth of shrimp over by Checkers? <laughs> how much did I get? Very, very yeah, little. How much did you get? <laughs> very little. My my intention wasn't to, to have a big meal. Uh, my intention yeah. was to to just share food with some new friends I met on the street. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, how many countries you have on your list already that you've been to? This is 121. 
Wow. How many countries are in the planet? Like, there, there's an argument, but I mean, most people would say about 197. Wow, you're uh, there. I'm t- about two thirds there. So how long have you been doing? So how long have you been doing this? Uh, about a decade, but I mean, over the last five years, I've been taking it more more serious. The YouTube itself is is pretty new, in comparison with my travels. Uh, okay. I've been just over a year doing YouTube. Oh, okay. So you you get sponsors? How do you no. avoid these trips? No, I'm. Uh, this is not my business. This is this is a hobby. So I've, I I own a different type of business. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, how Belize? Exactly. Well, what part did the Belize? So, how did the Belize uh, decision come about? Yeah, uh, it was just next on my list. That, that's like the truth. I was in Iraq, Syria, Palestine about a month ago, and it was cold and it was snowy in winter. So I said, I'm going to go home, uh, get some shorts, and find somewhere hot to go. And the Belize sun is is the reason I got here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you link with Albert? Yeah. How did I meet with him? We were just attracted. It was just like a, a natural, I don't know how we would put it. It just happened. You know, sometimes, sometimes good things just happen. Man come like my white twin. I used to, I be try, one of the earlier days, I used to try DJ and my man and thing and thing and thing, but you know. But remember, he's not your white Yes, sir. And he's a guy that boy, DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Crab. And you're about to go to commercial break. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. Sure. Okay, my journey is now bringing me to the terminal. I'm heading to the islands. How do you say the island I'm going to? Kikaka and San Pedro. I'm going to Kikaka for yes, a couple sir. days. So I guess my suitcase is already there. Yeah, Doran has it. In full effect, no acting. Now he's now he's shy. What's happening? You saw my video? Yes, sir. I saw last night. I appreciate that. I tell you, the love and beliefs. I hope you come back again and eat me all over again. I'm bro. still here. Here, right there, the light post. Yeah. Or over the Chinese shop. Man, you got to read the messages under the video. A lot of people are praying for you. There's a lot of mentions for you. See, it looked all at the same time. Amazing, no? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zorlo, thank you, my friend. Oh, I just remember, you know, you're the one that gave me that, that, that party, that party. Yeah. Yeah. Off camera, we didn't film it. Yeah. I slipped you a little bit of money. You don't, how could you forget me? I would never know. You I never? I saw your face. I remember you now. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen. Emotional. Yeah. I'm getting emotional. Yeah. He's, He's an emotional guy. Yeah. I'm a sure I'm a literally emotional wreck. This video is going yeah. I'll be right there if you don't see me. So tell me. I'll see you. I'm, I'm here for a week. I'm going to see you everywhere. What do you guys do? What is the... Um, for the quarters. Yeah. yeah we, um, to carry the suitcase? Yeah, the luggage. Yeah. French. Yeah. I'm not into tourists. I avoid tourists. <laughs> ah, I can't go. I like you can't it. go. I can't go? You can literally go wherever you want to go. You want to go in the village? You have a local. That's where I'm going. That's it. All right, gentlemen. I better go. Where do I buy a ticket? All the way down the last door to the right. Alright, thanks guys. I saw you in Lady Bill Highlights. You see that? Oh, man, I'm honored. I'm honored. I appreciate that. Going out to the islands? Yes. So, yes. I'll see you when you get back. Alright guys. Good luck on your mission. Yes sir. Alright, what's your first and last name? Chris. Are you leaving at 12? Okay. So what, 15 minutes before? Or? Yes. Okay, at 11.45 you. you can get in there and It's nice and cold there. Woo! Yeah, feels yeah. nice. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you.
Okay, we made it to our destination and we're going to be here for the next 48 to 72 hours and explore this brand new island. Well, new for me at least. Kikaker. Kikaker. Yeah. Okay. La Isla Cariñosa. Okay, La Isla. What about at night time? Is busy here? Yeah, this is the busy area here. But only on the weekend or what about no, tonight? For every day right now. Okay. It's weather, maybe weather and high season right now. Okay. And what's the best place to go to tonight? Well, depends what do you look in. Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> All right. No party is good without tequila. I need to necessito tequila. Dos or tres. Mas, mas, mas. Vacation. Okay. Necesito más. Mucho más. Mucho, mucho más. Más tequila, más hablar español. Está ah, bueno. Sí. Pues eh, tenemos eh, aquí, eh, hacia atrás, es por bar. Ya. Yeah. Al frente del hotel está un restaurante que se llama Beer Food Restaurant. Ok. Es un restaurante bueno. So he said right in front of my hotel there's yeah. the bar. Yeah. Uh, so, on the hotel, they have a mini bar too. Yeah, no, mini bar means I'm drinking alone. Solo yeah. tequila no gusta. No. Pues the Food Caribe restaurant yeah. is lugar bueno también. It's good, okay. Style Split, que está hacia el lado norte. Yes. Es un lugar muy famoso y es un lugar bien bonito. Okay, it's a famous spot, just north of my hotel. Yeah. Okay, see, my Spanish is good. Yeah. Entiendo todo. Con tequila mucho mejor. Yeah. Hasta se habla y se escribe. Yeah, you better. He's better at speaking Spanish and yeah. writing. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a new island to conquer. I got three days to explore. I see a lot of tourists. Mucho turista. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Muy cerca. See? And where do you live? How far do you live? I live by New side, Bahia, Costa del Sol. Yeah? To the Sol. And how many people live there? All Spanish? Uh, Todo Espanol? No. No? Mix. Yeah? Yeah. I'm good. How are you doing? Not too bad, sir. Nice Welcome to meet you. Uh, where do I check in here? You're a uh, YouTube guy. I'm a YouTube guy, yes. I know, I saw your, some of your videos lately here. What do you think? Um, the ones, I think I saw the one with the, with the ones with the, you did in Belize. Yeah, in the city. Yeah, in the city. Well, now I'm here for three days to, to record. Okay, perfect. So I have lots to explore. I check in here? Yes, you do. Okay. I need my passport. Yeah, I need to I'm at the Barefoot Hotel. Yeah, you're at the Barefoot Hotel. Um, so the office opens from 8 to 5. The pool over here is from 8 to 8. We do have pool towels too, and you can take them out to the beach if you wish. Okay. Um, outside we have complimentary bikes that you can use. Okay. Um, whenever they're there, that means they're free and you can grab and go. We also have locks for them too. And check out at 11. If you check out before the office opens, then there's a drop box on the wall back there that you could drop your piece in, okay? Wonderful. And then from 8 to 9 in the morning, so we set up our complimentary continental breakfast in here for you. And you feel free to come down and enjoy that as well. Okay? Sounds good. Alright, so I'll show you two. The bar outside opens noon and closes 10 p.m. Okay? You're sitting right here? Yeah. Okay. This mini bar that we have here. And um, you do get a complimentary welcome rum punch, so yep. whenever you settle down, the bartender will help you with that. Wonderful. Um, you could please help me, Karen. Sure, no problem. Um, 113. 113? One, three. One, three. One, three. Yeah, 113. This building to the back here on the fourth floor is our rooftop terrace with hammocks and chairs. So you could relax that, okay? It's a common okay. area. Um, he'll help you with your luggage. Wonderful. Yep. That's good. I'll carry that if you want. have water and juice in there and everything. It's nice and heavy. Sorry, um, what was your name? Omar. Omar. Chris. So, like a night tonight? Yeah. Is the best night to do a... But what time night? What's what time is night? Um, what's the first time for you? Thank you, buddy. I don't know. I'm going to relax a little bit. Well, I'm going to go out there and explore a little bit. I don't really have a time. We can do the north. We can do the... 
south side all by the airport then the neighborhoods yeah in the back at night and show where the guys you know yeah, yeah. you can do it if you get a cart later on yeah for sure if you're ready you want if you want to get a cart let me know by five o'clock yeah we can get a cart for 75 us yeah and you can um, also um 24 hours it comes along with full full tank of gas gotcha that way i can show you around the island show me all right. right sounds good nice sure. to meet you omar so guys here's my hotel room you're seeing it as I'm seeing it for the first time nice big shower okay the room itself's not big but hey what more does a man like myself need beautiful view tiny little pool but I'm gonna kick back charge my batteries up got into complete darkness and then get outside I want to make sure I didn't leave the key outside. And then get outside and explore and bring you guys something new and fresh, new content from here, just outside of Belize City. And I'll see you soon. <clears throat> okay, got into a tank top, flip flops, since I'm at the beach, and I'll go walk around a little bit. Show you guys the more touristy side of the island before I go and show you the other side. The breeze is nice, but I know it's going to affect the sound effects or the sound in this video. Got some shops, some stores. Caveman snorkeling tours. A lot of touristy type stuff. Getting hungry, so I'm gonna look for like more of a local restaurant. So, as I've said in previous videos, the touristy type location is just not for me. Like when I'm walking here, like everything is is created for tourism. And I'm not your average tourist. That being said, I'm sure I'm gonna have a, a fun two to three days here exploring. Blue Water Grill. The gentleman said if I go past the hotel in the opposite direction, I'll, I'll find those type of like homemade barbecue on the side of the road type joints. So that's where I'll be eating. First, let me just get a, a general grasp at the lay of the land. Hello. Hi. Let me try a milkshake, please. Okay. The flavors are right there on the board. What do you suggest? What's the best? Uh, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good. <laughs> what about you? What do you think is the best? I'm not an ice cream person. You work in an ice cream shop? <laughs> I'm just here visiting her. Yeah. Let me try an Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie, yeah. okay. Okay. How much is that? 20 I gave it's you? It's nine, yes. Give me five back. And okay. the rest is for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, thanks. Thanks.
tastes good to me. Nice cold homemade milkshake on a hot day at the beach. What more can a man ask for? So my game plan with this set of videos is today I'm going to show you the more touristy stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the dark side. <laughs> show you guys where the residents live and I guess the side that the tourists don't often visit. That's the plan at least. I'm the man with no master plan. I just blow with the wind. There's a fish. Hello. Hello. What is tarpon? Oh, I see a fish there. What is tarpon feeding? Oh, you feed the tarpons. Why? Oh, they're right here. They're right there, yeah. I'm about to do it. Do you want to watch? It? Yes, most definitely. And then I want to try it too. All right. I've never heard of anything like this. So, feeding the fish. Yeah, yeah. I, I just walked down the street. There you go. And I ended up in the right spot. I think to be more exciting, you should be able to just grab one of the fish by the back and let it pull you out. You could try. Yeah? You're a bit scared? <laughs> Don't lose a finger. Has anybody ever lost a finger? No, man. No. Don't worry, she's not listening. No, no teeth. No? No teeth. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. No teeth, he said. Ah! Just keep it still. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> that was funny. Thank you. Did you get the fish back? Yes, you did. I did. You did it's all. You did all that work. I think just close your eyes and then. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> well, I can't miss out on an opportunity like this. I'm next. Ah! Amazing. That's so cool. What's the biggest tarpon that you have here? About eighty pounds. And they just hang around here all day, or they know to yeah, come at a certain time. All day. Smart fish. Yeah, they are. Smart. Easier than hunting. Sorry, slowly, you never get up. They're hungry. Sorry, slowly? No, no, I was sucking the fish. Yeah. Can you get one in slow motion? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, I lost it. Inspect the details here. So they grow up to 8 feet or 300 pounds. They're protected by law. They live in both fresh and salt water. Okay. Yeah, they can live up to 100 years. Well. Wow has sandpaper-like teeth. Wow, they're everywhere. And how many fish are here? There's quite a few. Don't tease the tarpon. So I buy these. What are these? Just sardines? Sardines. Two, three, four, what I get? Six? Yeah. Okay. I was watching her, so I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, the lady will come give the hand of the camera. I'm okay. I don't, for me, I have my camera in my hand. Oh, there you go. Uh, this, does this move at all? No. Nah. If I set this down, it's okay? No problem. Does it matter I hold it by the tail or the head? Uh, you gotta keep it between the thumb and the uh, index it, finger. The tail? Yeah, put it way in the crease, yeah, like that. Open up so you don't scrape Ooh. your finger, yeah, like that, yeah. Okay, let's see. Whoa! You pushed my hand. <laughs> oh! They're pushing my hand. Come on, guys. We'll give you a clear shot. No. They got bad eyesight here. <laughs> yeah, they're pushing my hand. Got to make them work. You can get a higher jump if you raise your hand a little bit more. 
Oh, again. They're missing. They're missing the spot. But this is the first time in my life I fed a fish like this. So let's see how high they can. Go. Ooh! Let's see how high. Work. Work. Work it. Nope. Who's gonna go for it? Come on. Ah, he got it. That guy got it. It's the first one working. He's got good eyes. Okay, let's try this now. Oh, my hand went right in there. That was good. <laughs> I saw that. Well, let's see. Yeah, you get you guys give me the small ones here. Come on. That's too much fun. I feel nice and slimy. If I put my hand in, it's gonna gum for it. No? How they tell the difference between the sardine and my hand? I don't know. Yeah, I saw how good their eyes were. They were biting my hand. That was well worth my investment. You had a good time? Yeah, I did. So my friend, where's your, this is your Instagram? Yes? So night has come and the game plan is to walk around a little bit and do the touristy type thing for you folks. Show you guys what it looks like here at night. I know this is not my conventional type video, uh, but hey, I'm up for change. Tomorrow will be a new video, so let's get out there and explore. Okay, I'm out on the road. This wind, it's, it's horrible. This camera. I don't know if I see, maybe I can hitch a ride with somebody. I don't even know where I'm going. So follow the lights, the music, and the people and see where I end up. Sports bar. It is Monday, which is karaoke night, 7 p.m.
that's the sports bar. The streets to the left are empty. I'm really hoping I can find something halfway decent to eat. Because I drank like at least 10 shots. They noticed me or recognized me at the bar. So uh, the people that worked there were kind enough to feed me extra alcohol. Let's see what we can find here. I see somebody doing selling something. Hello. What are you selling? Chicken burrito? Can I see what the chicken looks like? Okay. What do you suggest? Chicken? But I don't like onions or tomatoes. Just like this is good? And you have hot picante? Please. And how much is this? Ten Belizean dollars. What's up, buddy? Yes, my friend. You look like somebody used to live here. Yeah? Yeah. That's what you said to all the tourists? No, 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 seriously. Just to me. The guy used to own a nightclub on here. He used to call him OJ. Bolita, bolita, bolita. cabbage. Let me see. Can I see the cabbage? Oh. This coleslaw, yeah, that's Enjoy. good. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, sir. Charles. Charles. Hey, listen. I just planned karaoke for one more day. Is there two days karaoke? No, no this one. But you have hot sauce? Spread the word. No, no, I don't like it. Let me, sorry, can I see? Is there onions there? No, I don't like it. Yeah. Karaoke. Where is this? Enjoy where I work. Where is Enjoy? This is awesome. Yeah, I just got here. This is great. Yes, sir. Hey, Lava, how are you? Hey, let me shoot this out. I'll be right here. Yeah, let the people know. Yeah, bless it back. I remember you, brother. I have posted it. Please. And let me talk to you about going on. I'll find his fucking receipts. Hey, how much are the pupusas? No more pupusas. Oh. Ah. No mas. Shit. No mas. Don't sell real You're too, you're too late. Yeah, yeah. But I gotta find out. I came here because uh, this cop that I know saved my ass the other day. Yeah. He's like, hey, go have some dinner or something. You owe me. And I was like, I was like, well, you I, got, know, I was like, I know, but why do I owe you? Because he's regular clothes. He's drinking. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to leave you to get arrested. And I was like, oh my God, what do you want? What do you want? Let me go to the, never, go to the ATM. Let me never ask them how much they want. No, I said, what do you want? Uh -uh. He said, for Bruce's. What's that? Come doing? That's a good one. You have $2 bill? Give yeah. me some tools. Yeah, some tools. All right, thank you. Okay, I got myself a burrito, chicken burrito, off the street. Got to sit somewhere and eat it before I walk home. The lonely walk home. I am the only one. And I am hungry. Take a quick look at real estate down here. If you're looking for a fantastic home with a 180 degree rooftop ocean view deck, you're looking at about 400,000 USD. This is a two bedroom house with two rental cabanas, 369,000 USD. This bad boy here is a fisherman's rest resort for sale. And that's 1.75 million USD. Here we have safe, clean, comfortable rooms with air conditioning, refresh, refreshner, <laughs> refrigerators, refrigerator, and uh, cable TV with private bath. Man, I'm hungry. So I gotta find somewhere to kick back and eat. Having this in my hand and not in my mouth.
as you can <laughs> as you can probably see I feel more comfortable in a dangerous hood than I do in a, a social environment like a nightclub it's very awkward for me to hold up a camera and walk around a club to show you guys what knife night life looks like it's just not me and I'm trying my best to force myself to do it but like I said walking with a camera like this in a neighborhood, I feel very confident. In a club, I don't feel very confident. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely something different from what I normally produce. And I can't tell you if I'll ever do this type of video again. But for the time being, hey, content is content. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed my trip from Belize City to Cayo. I can't, still can't even say it yet. Look what I found, a chair. It's a picnic table, I'm gonna go sit over there. I'm alone in the streets. I have my burrito. Then I'll walk back to my hotel and call it a night. Let's see what this looks like here. Give you guys my ranking or rating. Uh, already, it's really cold. It's ice cold. I didn't walk too far. It's big, but it's ice cold. It was the equivalent to five U.S. dollars. Look at the size of this. Ooh. I don't want to lose that. Look at the size of this. Oh, look at the liquid coming out. Look, oh my God, it looks horrible. Man, what am I getting myself into right now? It's like, <laughs> let me show you. I just lifted it up and look at this. Look. I don't even know if I'm that hungry that I can eat this. Oh, that's horrible. Man. Oh. Give it a shot. No. Sorry to the kind lady that was making it. I know she's working hard. She's hustling, but man, this is horrible. Shit about the hot dog. And I'm not even being picky. It's ice cold. I don't know how old the chicken is. I'm actually worried about eating it. I want to make myself ill tomorrow. No, no, no. No can do. Now, oh, I will not let this go to waste. We'll find a hungry dog on the way home that will truly enjoy this delicacy. But for me, I'm concerned. That was, that was one out of five stars. And if I could, maybe a zero out of five. That's really, really bad. Normally I don't like saying that or doing that because locally, I know these people work hard, but man, that's not edible for humans at all. And I took two bites of it, so you can tell how hungry I am. Man, and it looks like there is no other options on the way home. Feels like it could be two or three pounds of burrito. Hopefully we can find some sort of cat or dog, domesticated animal to feed this to. No waste. Doggy, doggy, doggy. 
Oh, shit. So here tomorrow we'll check out Cecil. He has a gift shop made by Orlando August. It's handmade conch shells. Souvenirs. Visit in the back. rent these guys here, lily pads, here we go, here's my hotel, looks like I will not find anything else to eat tonight, I'll wait for the morning and there's no dog to give this to, so I'll put it in the fridge and feed a dog tomorrow. That's it guys, that's a wrap. That's my little diary for today. You know, it started with meeting Rasta, then going for a TV radio interview, and continuing on the boat ride here, and then exploring a little bit of the island. Tomorrow I'm gonna to explore more of the island, and I promise it will be more adventurous. I'm trying to like wrestle a crocodile, or like catch a shark with my hands, or something like that. Something crazy, you know what I mean? So. See you in tomorrow's video, hopefully. And that's it. Good night from wherever you are watching in the world. I appreciate you guys. Uh, that's it. It's a wrap. Goodbye. From Belize. It's Christmas list. Good night.